All right. Good morning, first grade. Today is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. If today is Tuesday, that means yesterday was, raise your hand, Yesterday. Anderson, what was yesterday? Sunday. So here's today, Tuesday. We're going to go back one. There's Sunday and there's Monday. Nice job. Yesterday was Monday. Kieran, if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be what? Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow will be um, I can't see that very well. The words there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Good job. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Um Naomi. Can you help me write the date? What number do we write for um, October? What month is October? Let's check we have October right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. October is the tenth month. Naomi, what day? The twenty-seven. And then the year. Twenty. Nice job. Ten dash twenty-seven dash twenty. Okay, we're gonna do days of the week, and then months of the year. Here we go. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Nice job. Okay, months of the year. We have 12 months, seven days a week. Here we go. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Here we are. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Can we all sit down? Good job. Okay. How many days have we been in school? I want you guys to take a look over here. We have some of these 10 frames filled all the way up and then some down here that aren't filled up all the way. So this is for yesterday. We need to add one more after you count. So I'll give you a couple seconds to count. Valeria, how many?
How many days have we been in school? Thirty-nine. Nice job. Ten, twenty, thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Very nice job. Keila, when I write the number 39, what number goes in the tens? Keila, go ahead and unmute. I can't hear you, so I went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. For the number 39, what number goes in the tens place? For 39. One, one nine. nine? That would be 19. How many groups of 10 do we have all the way filled up? One group of 10? Two groups of ten, three groups of ten. How many groups of ten do we have? Uh, nine, three. Flip it around. Three, three groups nine. of ten. Good job. Three groups of ten. One, two, three. Nine little ones. And here's my nine little ones. It's not all the way filled up yet, so we put it in the ones. Nice job, Keila. All right, what's my weather like today? Go check out your window and come back and raise your hand. Today's weather is, hmm. Me? Everyone. Everyone go check out your window and then come right back. Deleza, today's weather is, hmm. So we say today's weather is partly cloudy. Can you say that? Deleza. Partly cloudy. Nice job. Today's weather is partly cloudy. Partly cloudy. Nice job with calendar, boys and girls. So, we made a little tiny change to the schedule. Today we are doing a read aloud, and tomorrow we have an art project. So tomorrow, I want to, you guys to make sure that you are prepared with your watercolor paper, your crayons, and your watercolors. So, um, you're actually not going to be doing the watercolor with us as we show you, because we don't want the watercolor on the computer. We don't want it to spill on your Chromebook. So you're going to do the um, all of the art part until it, you get to the watercolor tomorrow. Today we'll just do a read aloud, but tomorrow make sure you are ready and that you have all of your supplies ready so that you can do it later that day. Okay? All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Dragons Love Tacos 2, the sequel. Make sure we're on mute and our videos are turned off. That'll help the, the picture come in way better. By Adam Rubin and Daniel Salmiri. Hey kid, why are all your dragon friends crying? They look so sad. The New York Times, no more tacos, world in shock, emergency supplies depleted. Oh my, we've got to do something about this. Listen to me, dragons, don't freak out. 
No wonder they're upset. Dragons love tacos. Remember that time they had an awesome taco party with dragons? There were so many tacos. Pant loads of tacos. Big tacos, little tacos, beef tacos, chicken tacos. And because of a totally honest mistake, I'm not blaming anyone here, there were also some spicy tacos. Unfortunately, spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles, and when dragons get the tummy troubles, well, you know. Danger. Keep all dragons away from this taco. But now there are no more tacos. None, nada, nil. If only we could somehow go back to our delicious taco party before the spicy salsa, of course. We could save a handful of tacos, plant them in the ground, and grow taco trees so we never run out of tacos again. The dragons would be so happy. Well, I know I'm not supposed to mess with it, but this does seem like the perfect opportunity to fire up that time machine in the garage. Hmm. A time machine lets you travel through time, back to the past when you were an itty bitty baby or forward to the future when you've grown into an old man. Or in our case, back to taco party full of tacos. Ready, set, zam. Oh, I missed a part. You know what? Let's strap into this gizmo and give it a whirl. Set the dial to taco party. Ready, set, zam. Hey, that's you from before. Weird. Well, there are plenty of tacos here. Let's just grab some and head back before the dragons eat any spicy. Uh-oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. They ate all the salsa. Yikes, I sure hope this time machine still works. Give the dial a little twist. We'll have to go back a further back, this time before the dragons eat any spicy salsa. The Big Bang, dragons eat spicy salsa, infinity. Ready, set. Sam. Hmm, we may have gone a bit too far back. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Look, he's a caveman. Oh boy, not again. This time machine has seen better days. Try some machine oil. That might do the trick. Wait a second. That's not machine oil. Machine oil brand salsa. Extra super duper spicy. This may complicate our journey through space time. Zork. Dragons love diapers? That's not right. Let's try again. Zink. Tacos love dragons? Weird, but closer. One more time. Zam. Dragons love tacos. That's it. Dragons, quick, grab some tacos and let's get out of here before it's too late. Crunch, 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 crunch. Zam. We made it. Congratulations. Well, oh, they're eating them all. Oh, come on. You saved one. Phew. We'll plant a tree and have tacos forever. 
the dragons will be so happy. After all, dragons love diapers. I mean tacos. Dragons love tacos. Heck, everyone loves tacos. Look at all the people in this picture. Did you see that zombie? Did you see that zombie?